Hi, this is Joseph, and in this video, we're going to set up a chart so that you can start trading the HL30. So I'm going to share with you in this video how to set up the chart for the indicators and which time frame you need before you move on to the next step, which is to start looking for those HL30 trade signals so that you can start making anywhere from 20 to 40, maybe even 60 pips almost every day that you use this particular trading system. So right now we're looking at a plain MetaTrader chart. This in fact happens to be on the pound dollar. Now we're looking at a one hour time frame. So in order to execute the HL30 strategy correctly, you have to be using it on a 30 minute time frame or you're probably going to get different results. So please prepare yourself for that. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and select candlestick chart and then I'm going to open this up one click so that you can see what's going on in here and I'm going to select the 30 minute time frame. So here is the 30 minute time frame. Now, I like to remove the grid. If you like the grid, maybe you can leave the grid or maybe leave it a little bit darker uh, so it doesn't show up so much. I just don't like all of the confusion in that heat of the moment when I'm trying to make a decision to execute a trade. Now, you're probably already aware of the fact that when we use the HL30, what we're doing is, again, using the 30 minute time frame, but we're looking at the previous day's high and low. In upcoming videos, we're going to be talking about different ways to help you eliminate possible failed trades with the HL30. And the way we do that is by being aware of the overall market conditions and the surroundings. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now we need to set up the chart so that it automatically tells us when the beginning of a new day actually starts. So industry standard, 5 p.m. New York time or Eastern time, that is the start of a new day in the Forex market. Now, if you're using a broker whose server is on a different time zone and it does not draw in these lines that I'm about to show you automatically at 5 p.m. New York time, then don't use it. I would recommend just drawing in maybe a vertical line, something like this, right at that 5 p.m. New York time. So right now, when I'm actually making this video, it is 5 p.m. It's actually seven minutes after 5 p.m. New York time. So I could actually put this right here. That's exactly what I want. I want to be there when the market is actually rolling over so that I can start looking for a possible HL30. Now, if you want to make things easier, again, what we were talking about earlier is setting up the charts so that MetaTrader automatically draws in the start of a new day. So you can do that by right clicking anywhere in the space and go down here to properties and then select common and select show period separators right here in the middle and then click OK. Now the reason this one is actually showing the period separator right over here about one hour away is that we just went through the daylight savings time change. So this would actually throw off a possible HL30 signal. You have to be aware of that. If it's not drawn at the right time and you're not looking at the right time frame, you could actually make a mistake. So again, this isn't going to help me right now until this particular broker that I'm using makes their adjustment to their daylight savings. Now we'll talk about the actual setup and how to identify the signal in an upcoming video. But again, right now we're just talking about how to set up these charts. It's very important, again, that you have this vertical line drawn right at 5 p.m. New York time. Now, the next thing we need is an indicator. So we can go back up here to the indicator tab or the indicator button. And what we want to use is the CCI. Now, since I'm using the CCI on a 30 minute time frame, I need to set the CCI at 14. It's very important that it's set at 14. Again, if you change the parameters of any of these settings, you're probably going to get different results. So please prepare for that. So now I've got my indicator in here. Now I've gone a little step further and made mine just a little bit thicker so I can see what's going on in here because time is of the essence when you get a signal. You want to be able to calculate everything correctly, quickly, and then assess the conditions and execute the trade. Now in the next few videos, we're going to talk about the actual setup, how to get into the trade, how to identify the signal, confirm the signal, get into the trade at the precise location, and where to set your stop loss and your profit taking levels. If you like this video and you want to get more information about these trading strategies, please click the subscribe button so that you can get instant notification when I put up a brand new video tutorial. Or you can visit my website right now by clicking the visit my website button and I have some free trading manuals for you and extra video lessons with some special discount offers to use my Forex service that will automatically execute all of these trades for you onto your MT4 account.